Hello. So I wanted to kind of test the idea of CentOS as a desktop machine. Now, um, the reason for doing this, because I love Fedora for my own machines. I think that they have a perfect blend of it just works with new um, software. There are sometimes, you know, um, where things can get a little rough when it comes to um, depending on proprietary drivers like NVIDIA. But for the most part, it seems to work very, very well. <coughs> My wife, on the other hand, not a large proponent of change. Um, right now, she's on the Ubuntu LTS releases because she doesn't want to have to deal with upgrades and the headaches of upgrades very often. <laughs> so um, I use CentOS uh, for some of my servers, uh, personal servers. And so I thought, well, what would be better than a desktop that has 10 years of support? But the question is, can it actually be used as a desktop? So here's one where I told it to install, let me see. I said install the KDE package <coughs> or group. And then for add-ons, I clicked Internet Apps, KDE Apps, uh, KDE Multimedia Support, and Office Suite and Productivity. So the f number one most important thing for my wife is uh, for a personal computer to be able to get on the internet. So um, let's see here. Click right here. And uh, so there's obviously Conquer. Um, and there's Firefox. So if I go out of Firefox, give it a moment to load there. All right. So this looks uh, fairly modern. Uh, let's see. If I go, let's see, nowadays, where would I go to? Ah, here we go. So about Firefox. So this is 31.4. And right now on my computer, I am on. Oops, clicked on the wrong button there just a minute. 42. So it is a bit behind, <coughs> but it is the enterprise version, so they're going to get less updates. Now, let's see, out of the box, if I go to YouTube, something she might want to do, let's see. Go to YouTube, and uh, so I see this on here. If I click on this, does it work? And it does work. And this is probably because um, a lot of YouTube videos now are HTML5. Let's see. She likes to go to CNN if she went to CNN. So it's loading up. All right. There's breaking news. Um, so it needs Flash. And Flash can be installed. That's no big deal. So um, it would need Flash, but that's OK. All right, so that's the number one most important thing. Um, number two would be banking. Um, so um, we use a, a program that's based in Java. So, and I know Java can be installed, so that's fine. Now, she makes a lot of use of LibreOffice, formerly known as OpenOffice. <coughs> so let's see if they have it in here. Uh, so here's the LibreOffice, okay. If I click on this, just wait a minute for it to load. We all know LibreOffice is not the fastest uh, program to load. All right, there we go. And I can see it on the About page. It is 4.2, so that's actually fairly recent. That's a fairly recent version. Um, it's not 5.0. But right now I'm running Fedora 22 on my main computer, and that one's not 5.0 either. 5.0 came in with the latest, um, the latest uh, Fedora. So if I go to the console, oh, I'll note that this is um, this is KDE uh, 4, not KDE 5. That's what she happens to have right now on her um, LTS machine. So there's no problems with that um, at all. Let's see, just out of, for curiosity's sake. Um, what kinds of things there are in the updates. Alright, so if I do yum check update, we can, we'll see what kind of updates uh, it's expecting to install. Maybe there will even be a 
newer version of Firefox and so on and so forth. Uh, meaning I was wrong to disparage them right away. And if I scroll up here, doo -doo 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 -doo, I do see that Firefox version 38 is available. 38 is much closer to 42 than 32 is, so that's not very bad at all. Um, and taking a look here at the other things, so Java's already installed, that's good. Um, let's see, kernel, the report, Mesa, SSSD, okay. So no uh, giant update to um, KDE 5, which I wouldn't expect. That'd be quite quite a leap. That would be quite a leap. Um, but I uh, do have a newer version of Firefox, which is good. Now, um, uh, basically, that covers the majority of what she would need to do. Um, LibreOffice, she's fine. Firefox, she's fine. Uh, I would just need to install Flash, and that's fine. Now, <coughs> um, let's see. So one thing, well, there's. So she doesn't normally listen to music on her computer at all. Um, she uses her tablet for that. Um, she uses the um, computer in the kitchen for that. She doesn't really do it in her bedroom. But I'm just curious. Um, would um, would CentOS be able to play MP3s? I would think probably not because of licensing. Um, but let's take a look. All right, let's see. Um, where might I go? Let's see what happens when I type MP3. There might be some. Uh, all right, mp3.com, perfect. So, free mp3 today. All right. I, I didn't even know this website still existed. It's been forever since I used mp3.com back when that was the way to get indie music. Um, let's see. Where would I get get it down below? Error fetching song. Okay, so th this might be. Um, it might be flash based how you get your song. Uh, let me go back. See if there's anything else that. Uh, All right, so if I click on there, mm -hmm. eh, clearly this is some kind of a scam site. Um, that's fine, no biggie, no biggie, no biggie. Let's see, ah, I know, royalty free. See if there's any. Here we go. All right. So this will be an MP3. Perfect. I'll save the file. All right. Now open up the folder. Let's see if it makes any noise. Uh, yeah, so it doesn't have anything that it wants to know to open it with. If I do Dragon Player, which is mostly for watching video, but it should be able to do an MP3, just like VLC can play MP3s. And that's taking its little time to go. look something up while that does its thing. Alright, so it doesn't look like that's actually going to work, which is fine. Um, so, um, Nux um, a Fedora Apple are kind of two little repos that'll that'll give you some things that you're missing. So let's let's start off with um, with Nux. 
and see if that'll help us out. So I should have copied it. We'll go into the console. And paste it in. Oops, I need to be super user first. All right, now that I'm root, let's do this. <coughs> now, Apple is um, basically, uh, if, I if I'm uh, understanding correctly and I haven't um, forgotten, um, that is a series of packages from Fedora packaged to work on CentOS. And Nux is some guy who makes um, packages that help um, CentOS work better as a desktop computer. So now that that's installed, uh, let's see if Lame is available. Lame is one of the libraries that can be used to play MP3s. Now it's just kind of getting a list of all the packages available on each of the different repositories. <coughs> and it does look like uh, like it's there, which is good. All right, and I'll say yes. And those are coming from Nux, which makes sense because Apple is provided by the Fedora people and they cannot package things that are um, have issues with patents and so on and so forth. All right, and now it's installed. So now I should technically be able to play this perhaps with Dragon Player, we'll see. I may need to install something else to play it. In fact, while I'm waiting to see whether or not this is going to load, I will do. I'll see if he has VLC in his repository. Whoa. Lots of dependencies for that. And the, many of those are from Nux, not all of them. Uh, VLC itself is from Nux. I'll go ahead and say yes. I'll wait to see if Dragon Player is now capable of playing MP3s. Looks like it failed or crashed or something like that. <coughs> Normally, <clears throat> when packages uh, crash on KDE, you get a uh, some kind of a uh, little thing that comes up to help you write bug reports, but it didn't happen in that case. Alright, just about there. It's almost done. All right, it's done. So now let's try this again. Open with VLC. And there we go. We've got this this cute uh, cute music cute music that was royalty free. And so uh, there you go. So, is CentOS something for you if you are a desktop user? I, I can't 100% answer that. What you have to do is kind of think of what it is you'd like to do and then explore whether it's available in the repositories, as I did here, and um, think about whether you need the latest and greatest stuff. My wife could not care at all. Right now, she's using a feature phone, not a smartphone. She doesn't like it, um, and she hates um, that Windows is... Um, the biggest thing that put her onto Linux is she hates that Windows kept changing every time it upgraded. Windows 7 to Windows 8 was just a drastic, like, what the heck is going on here? And, um, you know, while 10 is certainly more familiar for people that are used to 7 and Vista and XP, they're still constantly changing. And um, <clears throat> so at the time she switched to Ubuntu so she can be on an LTS. Now, um, Linux is just as guilty as Microsoft at times of changing GUIs 
seemingly without reason changing the way things look. I mean, um, KDE 4 to 5 is not as bad as 3 to 4, but there are changes and things, and she just she uses the computer primarily for productivity. She wants to sit there and get things done. She doesn't want the computer to get in her way. And so a, um, a Linux distro that has a long support window, like CentOS, which is based on Red Hat, which has a 10 year support window, is perfect for her. 10 years is plenty of time to have your perfect setup, everything exactly the way you like it. And then it's, it's not you know that unreasonable to say okay now it's time to change again for another 10 years I mean if you were to use CentOS from cradle to grave and you happen to live the longest humans could live you know 100 120 years old you'd only have 10 up 10 to 12 upgrades I mean that's really not that bad whereas um, fedoras and many of the other distros are updating approximately twice a year um, so what does she need she needs um, internet, it's available. Um, Firefox is not that old. Um, YouTube works. Um, she's able to listen to MP3s if she wanted to. Um, Java's there, so we could do our banking. Um, and um, you know, uh, there are other things on here like um, there are some little. Let's see. Um, you know, if you need a feed reader, if you need to chat, you know, um, there's um, Kikit is a great download manager. Um, it's it's it can be a little bit finicky, but when it works, it works so darn well. I really really like using it. Um, let me see the other categories we've got here. You know, um, I mean, there's always more available in the repositories, but it's already coming with a PDF viewer, which you know she would need. And um, what else? What other important things are here? Like I said, Office has all the stuff that she needs, including some stuff that she doesn't use. Um, Evolution, interesting for them to include that versus. Um, versus contact, uh, although this is for enterprise users and they're more likely to want something that looks more like Microsoft Outlook. Um, so in general, um, I think that this is this would be a perfect replacement for my wife. And if it works for you, it's just going to depend, like I said, on your needs. You know, Do you need something that's um, going to change and change and you always want the latest and you want the, you know, oh, the latest Blender, uh, which is for 3D modeling, or um, I can't wait till the next KDE comes out. Then you want to use Fedora. Or if you're super duper cutting edge and you don't mind um, um, things breaking every once in a while, something like Arch, you know, or some of the other rolling distros. So anyway, I hope this is um, useful to you if you're trying to decide whether or not um, CentOS would work well for you. Um, I kind of showed you some of the repos to install and. Uh, and the type of software that's there. So, um, thanks for watching. And uh, make sure you subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this, or um, I'm playing games for extra life. And I occasionally also have some videos related to uh, my comics website, Comic Pal. Um, so, if you subscribe, and all this wonderful goodness will come to your, um, right to you. See ya.